Hey everyone, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today we're going to be talking about our neighbors um, and how we can work together or solve uh, disagreements that we may have about certain chemicals that we're using in our yards. Um, so recently, this yard uh, behind the farm here, you know, it was an older, older gentleman neighbor and he was spraying Roundup back there. And, you know, I was kind of in go mode, work mode, and I wasn't, you know, in my best talking mode. So I kind of approached him a little bit too strongly, you know, and it's kind of like, oh, what are you doing? Like, why are you spraying this stuff? Do you know what this is? And, um, you know, of course, this typical response, just like the, uh, the brainwashing of, oh, yeah, it just, you know, it just dissipates and everything's fine. It's not dangerous. It's not bad for humans. Um, of course, there's been countless studies, and uh, we do know that glycophosphate, the active chemical in Roundup is extremely detrimental to human health, should be avoided at all costs. Um, actually, most of us have glycophosphate uh, in their bodies right now. So um, it's in all of our foods, the wheats, the corn, the, they spray it over everything. Um, anything conventional is gonna have, they're gonna use an herbicide and most likely it'll be glycophosphate. Obviously I'm an organic farm, I don't want that anywhere near me. Um, so I was pretty discouraged at first and thinking that I was, he, you know, he basically told me, no, I'm gonna keep spraying it and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, I talked to the nephew. Nephew was able to help me out through talking to the uncle, kind of worked on him a little, and then, you know, I suggested the idea of, hey, you guys, I'll take out all the weeds in the backyard by hand and then I'll come in and dump six inches of wood chips back there and then that'll really help suppress the weeds uh, so that you don't actually have to spray. And to my surprise, they actually agreed. So, Okay, I'm gonna be putting wood chips on the back half of the property here. We'll so give a huge buffer. It's like a 20 foot buffer from the rest of that yard. And that should really limit the amount of weeds back there. And, and, then, and then of course prevent him, or he won't need to spray, right? So then he won't spray. So yeah, guys, that's just a really cool example, I guess, of compromise that it, it can be made and it can happen. Um, so don't get too discouraged, keep working on people. Sometimes they take a little while before they'll agree to what you want to do. Just don't do not do what I did the first day and approach them really strongly and aggressively. <laughs> it's not the good option. Um, be very kind, respectful, and listen to your neighbor and what they want. What it, you, know, you need to accomplish their goal, right? So my neighbor didn't want weeds in his backyard. I gotta solve that problem for him. I, I just can't say, hey, don't use Roundup. I need to offer him a solution. He, he wants to get rid of those weeds. Well. What, how do I know how to get rid of that without poisons? That's what I did. So today you're gonna see us, me and my buddy, good buddy Ben, really thankful to him for coming out and helping me. And we're gonna move uh, wood chips to the back there. And then we're also gonna spread out a lot more in the yard here. I brought a, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 cubic ton dump truck who dumped their chips back here. It was gigantic, probably 20 cubic yards. Anyways, I spread it all out throughout the whole yard. But now as you can see, the grass is popping through and it's pretty, you know, the dirt's right here. It's only about an inch or two inches in depth. So we want to get a lot more out here because it's creating some really good soil after a year. A lot of the bigger chips are now broken down into this stuff. And then another year, and then this will be really broken down into pretty much soil. So yeah, just trying to keep the moisture out here, keep the dust down and protect the soil life under here. Keep it growing really well. All right, so I'm just going to mix up some all-natural weed killer here. <clears throat> Since I'm not planting anything over there, I really don't care. I just want the weeds to die. It's not going to hurt the environment. Um, so I'm just using, I, I wish I had a higher vinegar percentage, but this is 5% acidity. You can go all the way up to like 20%, you know, 10% is good too. And that'll be work really well on weeds. Um, but the 5% will still do a decent job. And then I'm using a, just the seventh generation biodegradable soap. And I can use one ounce of this per gallon of water. And I'm gonna add in, you know, people recommend online using a gallon. And I'm gonna use this watering can to disperse it because I unfortunately I don't have like a spray bottle that can handle vinegar. So I'm just gonna use this and just kind of water in all, all the areas that I just hacked down with, with the hula hoop. Wood chips dropped off, bunch of good trees in here. It smells really nice, like there's some eucalyptus in here. 
So that'll also have some good weed suppressing oils in the wood. And you know, it's got some twigs in there, leaves. Almost like there's a maybe a pine tree in there too. But some decent mulch. And it worked out perfectly that he didn't have a full load because this is a good amount that I can, you know, easily move in one day. Here it is, all finished and cleaned up. So the mulch project went really well. The mulch came out really nice. Um, Charles Tree Service uh, hooked it up for me and uh, it was really good stuff. It was eucalyptus and pine and some other trees, so it has really good oils that'll help suppress weeds and keep away bugs. And then it also smelled amazing as we were mixing it or as we were spreading it. And it still smells really nice. I, I would have liked to have a little bit more mulch. It was like two to three inches all around. Closer to my fence area, I made it thicker, like four to six inches. So I may want to bring in some more mulch at some point, uh, just to keep, you know, if it's deeper, it'll suppress a lot more of the weeds. So I may at some point bring in a little more, but the neighbor was happy, they think it looks nice. So that's excellent and hopefully this will suppress the weeds enough so that the neighbor isn't spraying and I can just kind of stay on top of the weeds over here. So yeah, my next plan is just get a little more mulch, help super suppress the weeds. And yeah, you know, it was just super successful. You know, in the beginning I didn't think it was going to be possible to make a compromise. Luckily I have really great neighbors and they worked with me. So yeah, don't be discouraged if someone says no at first. Bring them another solution. Bring them another way to bring them what they want too. Um, so that you both win. And uh, the coolest thing about this was that so many people won. Uh, I won because, you know, I know there's no herbicides being sprayed next to my farm. I also won because these wood chips are gonna bring in a lot more life to this area. It's gonna really help start repairing the soil, uh, creating fungal networks under here. So that's gonna help the farm in the long run and it's gonna help this land in the long run. Uh, my next door neighbor here enjoys the look of it. Looks a little nicer, they don't have as many weeds. Uh, the neighbor's not going to come out here and have to work as much on his weeds and spray and, and, and weed and all that. Um, and then the tree service, you know, he was able to was able to help his business by getting rid of some mulch that he would have had to pay to get rid of. So, you know, it's just win, 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 win. Whenever you can create situations like that, it's, it's awesome. So as an urban farmer, you got to work with your neighbors. You're always going to have neighbors. There's definitely a solution out there. And if there's not, then you just got to be nice and kind and respectful. And that's all you can do. So cool guys, well, hope you enjoyed the video and definitely recommend spreading out mulch if you guys have any bare soil areas of your yard or farm. Just creates a nice looking pathway, improves the soil structure and maintains some more water retention for you as well. So yeah, mulch is just, just a great, great product. So 